Hey guys, so I have had such a busy day. We have a new addition to the family, and that is this little one. So, this is my new little puppy. I'm not sure what I'm calling her yet. I've gone for a couple of names. I'm just trying to figure out like what is gonna work um, because I don't wanna name her too quickly and then I end up wanting to change it. So yeah, she is a black and white Shishon, which is a Shih Tzu cross with Bichon. And she's 10 weeks old. She seems to love me already. She follows me everywhere and she's so adorable. Aren't you? You're so cute. Um, yeah, so I thought I would just come on and tell you a little bit about her and I thought I'll give you a little haul of the stuff that I bought because I literally just popped to the range to get some last minute bits so that she has all the basics before tomorrow. So let me just get her little folder. So she's actually down here but she's just like sleeping. Um, she's been microchipped, which I have a little card for, and she is obviously a girl. And um, yeah, I've got a bit of information about like the flea stuff that I have to do in a couple of weeks. And she gets her next injection in two weeks time. And after that, I can start walking her. So I'm so excited for that because I was thinking that I might take her on my walks around Wendover Woods but I might get a little like doggy backpack and then if she decides that she doesn't want to walk then I can just put her in the little backpack. At the moment she's playing with her new sloth toy. It's like a hollow sloth, so it hasn't got any other stuffing in it because some dogs like to rip it out. Um, I know my sister's dog likes to rip it out. Um, and it was two pounds and I was like, oh, I have to. Um, and it was so cute. So she's just sleeping. She's on, a little bit on alert, but she's very chilled. Um, she doesn't seem to mind about the other dogs because I have two other dogs. Um, one is a Cavalier and a Bichon, and the other one is a Yorkie and a Bichon. And yeah, she doesn't seem to mind them. If you're wondering, the purple stuff on the back of her neck is just some like um, spray, which was to reserve her so that no one like went and bought her or like tried to um, sort of like look at her to buy so they just did that so that people knew um i think they said that it'll wash out eventually <laughs> i'm hoping soon because it's like dark purple but yeah she seems very chilled she's probably like what's going on um i've got the puppy pads out already so um yeah she hasn't like i think she's been for a wee already she's just eaten so We'll see if she needs to go out in a little while. Um, yeah, but this is just like an introductory one. I'm sure there'll be more puppy vlogs on training and things, but yeah, at the moment, she's just wondering what that noise was because someone's phone went off. But yeah, I think two of the, n one of the names that I'm like most set on is Cleo, but I don't know if you're a Cleo or not. We haven't decided yet on the way home so I, I drove from Chinna to Ellsbury and it's about half an hour and then because it's absolutely pouring it down as most people in the UK will know um, she was not happy she was in a box with like an open lid and it had bedding in it and she just kept trying to jump out so I was already trying to concentrate on the fact that it was pouring with rain and I couldn't see out of the car so I was going so slowly I was going like 10 miles an hour because it was raining and I was trying to hold her in the box to make sure that she wouldn't like jump out while I was driving. But yes, you did not like the car. And then the last 10 minutes of the journey, she literally just slept, probably because she had wore herself out from the first half of the journey. So yes, she was very tired and now she's so tired. Like every time someone holds her, like my dad held her and my mum held her, she was just like asleep, she was gone. I'm gonna keep her on my lap, I think, whilst I'm, I show you all the stuff I bought, because she seems to be pretty sleepy, so I'm just gonna leave her there. So, as you saw, I got the little sloth. Um, I also got this little chew toy, because you can kind of play tug of war with it, so it's kind of a team thing, rather than just her playing on her own. Um, 
So the sloth was two pounds and the other toy was only a pound. There was really cheap stuff. I got it from the range. Then I got these puppy pads. Um, I got 30 for 10 pounds and I was thinking you're probably going to use maybe one a day. So that's like a month, which I thought was pretty good for 10 pounds. And then we got some puppy training treats, which I'm kind of excited about. So we got these, see now she's woken up. She's like, what is this? Um, we got some cookies, which are peanut butter and banana, which are like this, they're wag ones. Then I got these beef chicken and lamb mini bones. So the aim is with these that you keep the bag with you and then when you're training them then you can use it as like a good girl and then provide a treat if she does like the either like sitting or something along those lines right. Oh what's the matter? Um, yeah so I just got a couple of bags of them and they were only a pound so I was like wow. Um, and then I got these turkey and rice bites. So they were also found. What's that? Hmm? Hey, you okay? She's not sure what she wants. We'll soon figure it out. Um, then I got some poo bags because if I take her on any short walks or even just if I took her out in the garden, um, it just means I can clean it up quickly and there's 125 and it was a pound so I thought why not even if I don't use it for a couple of weeks until I start walking her I might as well um, then I got this little ball and rope toy because I was thinking she can play with the other dogs because maybe she can hold one end and then they can use the other she seems to like it she's smelling it uh, I got these puppy dent sticks so I thought I'm, I need to read the back and see um, like how soon people give them. Um, it says four to 12 months and she is almost three. So I think puppy is under a year. So yeah, I'll probably give them in maybe a month. So we will see to keep her teeth nice. And then the last thing I got, the last two things was this anti-chew um, training spray. So obviously if she starts biting my shoes, my work shoes most likely, touch wood that she doesn't, um, then I can spray this on it and hopefully it will stop her doing that. It's all dog friendly. Um, it says that it's a bitter taste, but it doesn't actually cause any harm. So it's just to prevent, I'm hoping that I don't need to use it very often, but yes. And then I got this little mat, which was only a pound. Um, pretty much all of this stuff was a pound. Um, the only thing that wasn't was the spray, which was four pound, and the puppy pads. Everything else was either a pound or a pound fifty, which I thought was so good. And yeah, so I got this mat so that I can put her water on there because she's quite small. I do worry that she'll she might like fall in the bowl, so I'm thinking that um, just in case she does, or if she splashes the water everywhere, then it means it's not going to go all over the carpet. So yeah, she seems to like this toy so far. Let's have a little look. She's got it there. Are you okay? She's like, what is going on? She seems to have settled really well. She really doesn't mind the other dogs. I'm gonna make dinner because I haven't eaten anything and it's half seven. And um, yeah, and then I'm gonna have her in here with me because it's like laminate floor so and there's like nothing that isn't puppy safe so it's quite a good place to have her just running around and um, yeah I've pretty much puppy safed my bedroom I've moved anything that was on a low shelf that probably shouldn't be um, I've moved all that and then I've because it's a hollow bed I've put like my shoe boxes like my shoe um it's like a large like kind of trunk under the bed like drawer really struggle to find the word but yeah it's like a drawer and it has all my shoes in it so I've kind of moved that so it's on the side of the bed and then at the bottom I've put some old cushions that I had under the bed anyway so that she can't go under there because she is small 
so I don't want her getting stuck and then I have to try and get under there and get her so yes but she seems to be pretty tired so I think I'm gonna end it there it was just a little introductory one also because I don't have a vlog for tonight because I've been busy I plan to edit a different video this evening and then post it but obviously because I was out getting her and then I got stuck in traffic and I had to get a few things I didn't have a vlog so I thought well I'll just do a quick introductory video so yeah I hope you enjoyed and if you have any name ideas then put them in the comments because you never know you might have a good one so yeah I will see you in the next video I'm being quiet because she's really tired so yeah see you later She's not out. She's she's asleep. <laughs> she's she's asleep. I don't think I can cook dinner now because I wanted to cook dinner, but she's asleep, so I can't move. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs>